Today I'm gonna show you how to make a rain gauge that talks with Home Assistant via Zigbee. And the best part is, all you need is access to a 3D printer and a simple door sensor. And seriously, that's it. No wires, no custom PCBs, no soldering and no drilling. Intrigued? Keep watching. Hi, how's it going? My name is Sebastian and in this video I'll show you how to create a Zigbee rain gauge and integrate it with Home Assistant. This is a modification of my last project, the Wi-Fi rain gauge, so I encourage you to watch the previous video first and then return to this one as quite a few elements will overlap. As I hope I made clear in the intro, today's project is super simple. Aside from the printing process, the device will be ready to use within half an hour, making it a great weekend project. All you need is any 3D printer or a friend with one, a few screws and a Zigbee door sensor. I prefer the one from Akara, but any other similar size sensor should work just fine. Now, the million dollar question. Is this rain gauge even remotely useful? Despite a simple design, can we rely on its measurements? Indeed, it is as precise as any storeboard device. Trust me, I've checked. The only drawback is that you need to have a Zigbee coordinator in your system, which translates to higher overall cost, but in return you get a device that's practically plug and play. And as always, all the files you need to complete this project you can download for free from my website. Link in the description. Like I mentioned in my last video, the rain gauge is pretty simple to operate, but if you missed that one, here's the rundown. The top part is a funnel with a known diameter, and inside there's a tipping bucket that gathers water. When the bucket fills up, it tips over and spills the water, which starts the cycle over again. Each time this happens, Home Assistant gets a heads up. Since the bucket capacity is known, we can easily calculate that one such event corresponds to... The diameter of the upper part of the funnel is exactly 55 mm. The bucket's capacity can be adjusted, but for calculation purposes, let's assume it is 5 ml. Therefore, therefore, one such event corresponds to 0.25615 liters per square meter. The main difference between this version and the previous one is the use of a commercial sensor instead of my custom made board. And while I'll personally enjoy designing unique PCBs for every project, sometimes it's just smarter to use existing components, even if it's a bit more expensive. Ok, enough theory. Let's finally print this out and put it all together. Now the most important part, calibration. I know, I know, calibration sounds boring, but trust me, it's the secret sauce that makes this rain gauge so accurate. Pour a precisely measured amount of water, for example 5 ml, and slowly turn the screw until the bucket tips. Do the same on the other side. All that's left is to attach the funnel and protective mesh. But we'll do it after installing the rain gauge in its final location. But before that, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, JLCPCB. They produce all the boards for me. Every PCB you've seen on my channel has been made by them. And even though I'm not using custom PCB for this project, they are manufacturing the board for the next one at that very moment. I've been using their services for a long time and have never had any complaints about the quality or their service. All the boards were exactly as I want them to be. So if you have a project, for example one of mine, that requires a custom PCB, 
I can honestly recommend JLCPCB. On their website, link in the description, you simply upload the Gerber files, set a few parameters such as number of the boards, the color of the solder mask, and the surface finish, and that's it. Your PCBs will be at your door in no time. Thanks, JLCPCB! The first step is to add door sensor to Home Assistant, but that's not covered in scope of this video. I'm sure you won't have the slightest problems with this, but if you do, you will find loads of tutorials on how to add Zigbee device to Home Assistant on YouTube. In the description, I've put a link to an excellent video that explains everything beautifully. The entire integration boils down to two steps. In the first one, we add two sensors that detect number of the bucket tips over the last... You can choose any time period you like here. But for the sake of this video, let's assume it will be 24 hours. And one template that sums both sensors and converts it into actual value in liters per square meter. And that's it. Let's check if it works. A small disclaimer. As you can see, I already have a rain gauge and I really don't need another one. But to test how the new one works and compare it to my previous one, I'm gonna temporarily install them side by side. After one month, both devices show exactly the same rainfall value, which is precisely the outcome I was hoping for. The difference, however, lies into the degree of battery consumption, but that's not a surprise as Zigbee devices are generally much less power hungry than those with Wi Fi. However, the Wi Fi version isn't doing too shabby either. At 8% depletion after a month, it's on track to last almost 12 months in total. In my opinion, that's a quite decent result. Changing batteries once a year shouldn't be too much of a hassle. If you are still watching this video, there's a good chance that you will be interested in my sprinkler control too. It complements today's project perfectly. In fact, it was the very reason I even considered starting measure rainfall in the first place. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. <laughs>